What's up, family? Senator John McCain has been diagnosed with a primary glioblastoma, a type of brain tumor. The senator underwent surgery to remove a blood clot on Friday at Mayo Clinic Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona. Lab results from that surgery confirmed the presence of brain cancer associated with the blood clot. In a statement on Twitter, McCain said this, I greatly appreciate the outpouring of support. Unfortunately for my sparring partners in Congress, I will be back soon, so stand by. He tweeted that on today. Now, Barack Obama sent a tweet out, and it went like this. John McCain is an American hero and one of the bravest fighters I've ever known. Cancer doesn't know what it's up against. Give it hell, John. Donald Trump sent his tweet out, and it went like this. Melania and I send our thoughts and prayers to Senator McCain, Cindy, and their entire family. Get well soon. See, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. This is what I mean by being dumb. Just, just having a real dumb president. We went from classy to trashy and nasty. This man has been diagnosed with a death sentence. And this fool talking about get well soon. The dude is lost, man. He don't know what the hell he be talking about. He lost. He said get well soon like he has chicken pox or something. He ain't coming back from that, man. That, that, that ain't something you come back from. The people that already said they gave him five years tops. They said that's if everything go perfect. That's, that's the best case scenario. Five years. Worst case scenario, somewhere around a year. That's what he's up against. So it don't look too good for John McCain. Now, when I first heard about this, now, John McCain is 80 years old, so he's up there where things like this is likely to occur. But still, you get caught off guard anytime time you, you hear about something like that, uh, especially uh, from somebody that's so prominent and vis just so visible in the public eye. Now, so I go online and I start checking out some of you guys' comments about this. And I can tell you this. I was hard pressed to find consecutive comments showing any type of love for dude. I mean, the thing about it that although he's a Republican, He's not only burned the Democrats on a number of occasions, he's burned the Republicans also because John McCain is a political opportunist. And he's always been there. That's what the thing about, that's what everybody's always said about John McCain. You can't trust him. Hey, you know, I'm not trying to kick somebody while they down, man. I'm just speaking the truth. And I always say, if you don't want people telling the truth about you, don't, don't live that truth. That way, if somebody says something about you and they lie, then you got some action. You, you know, if, if you're the type of person that want to get back, then you can bust back if they lie. But if they're not lying, if, they just, if they're telling the truth, if they're speaking facts, if they're speaking documented facts, then that's something totally different. And that's all I'm doing right now. I'm speaking documented facts. Everything I'm saying, you can go research it and you'll find it to be true. John McCain is the ultimate flip-flopper. He 
decides he's going to go this way for one minute and then he'll flip and then he go over here. A lot of Republicans are mad at him because he's been turning on the Republicans lately. <laughs> they, they're really mad. They're mad at him more than the Democrats because the Democrats already know what type of dude he is. They already know that he's in a certain party over here. He's in that party, so he's going to pretty much vote in their interest, mostly. But Trump and other Republicans really thought they had his vote. <laughs> and he's been waggling his vote in front of them, you know. He's like been just like, ah, you know, ah, you know, like you may get my vote, you may not. Come talk to me if you want my vote. Come talk to me. So this is the knock on on John McCain, and this is why a lot of people ain't really like uh, like showing no love. It's a lot of people like saying, "Man, so what?" He got brain cancer. So what? I mean, they, they, they going in on him. Y'all look it up. You ain't got to take my word. Look it up. They going in on him. Now, I see a great deal of, uh, of harsh words directed at him. And it's been like this for a long time because, as I said, John McCain, is the ultimate flip-flopper. Uh, he flipped in 2006 on um, the legislation to uh, support uh, immigration to uh, for uh, the path to citizenship. He flipped on that. And then, um, because in, in 2006, he, he actually supported it. And then in 2010, when he was up against one of those Tea Party dudes in the Republican Party, he flipped and said he never supported it. And then he said not only did he do that, he supported legislation that uh, racially profiled uh, Latinos in Arizona. So Another time he flipped, he flipped on the MLK. He was one of the last holdouts. In, in fact, he, he held out the whole entire time. He didn't want Martin Luther King's birthday to become a holiday. And it wasn't until it actually became a holiday that he was in support of it. Then he flipped and he said, well, you know, People change, and I've changed my mind. Yeah, of course you've changed your mind now that it's done, and you know you can't reverse it. <laughs> it's done. So he flipped on that. He, um, he flipped on the dangers of climate control. He's flipped on prisoner swapping. He just flipped, flip, 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 flip. flip. Like, whatever's convenient, that's what he do. He, he flip. He flip, flip, flip. So, there are not a lot of people who is sad that John McCain's days are numbered on paper. They're not, it's a lot of people out there that just don't care. Another thing is this. John McCain has voted for more wars that have maimed and murdered and destroyed lives all over the world. He really is a war politician. And it's many, many, many people who have died because of his policies because of how he vote, how he uses his power and his influence. Many people have died and they've spent 
trillions of dollars, but well, the treasury, treasury Department has lost trillions of dollars as a result of John McCain's uh, voting practices. If this doesn't tell you that John McCain is delusional, the idea that he chose Sarah Palin as a running mate should seal the deal. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.